Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pride Pack. My name's Tia and thank you so much for tuning in. So today I have a fun video for you guys. So um, if you hadn't heard already or if you haven't watched any of my other videos, you're new to the channel, you'll know that I am engaged. I am getting married in about a month and a half now. And um, so I'm like really starting to put together all of my final and finishing touches. Um, I am doing all of my own wedding planning. I am a wedding and event planner. Um, I will link one of my, or link some businesses down in the comments for you. If you need a wedding planner, um, hit me up. I would be happy to help you with your wedding too. If you are in or coming to the Las Vegas area, as I know a lot of you guys do come here for like your destination wedding. So let me know if you need help. But today I am going to be creating or playing with how I want my table setting to look like for my wedding. So I did order a bunch of things from Tablecloths Factory. I believe I've talked about them before, but I'm going to link them down below as well. Um, Tablecloths Factory is this awesome website that I found that has very discounted, super, super cheap, but quality items um, like ta tablecloth linen or napkins. Um, they've got drapery. So basically any sort of linen that you could need for an event, they have for like the best prices I've ever found. And then they also have other like event needs such as charger plates, um, we got an aisle runner from there, so just a ton of different items. So today I'm going to be playing around and using my dining room table as my, um, like, my wedding table. And I'm going to try to create exactly how I want things laid out for my wedding. And I highly suggest you do this um, to just make sure that you really like how everything is laid out and so you can make changes before your wedding day. All right, so I am starting off with a white tablecloth. I got these tablecloths from Tablecloth Factory. I will link it down below, but it's just a nice, elegant white tablecloth. It needs to be ironed, but I'll do that at a later day. Next, I have these beautiful rose gold pink, or pink charger plates. Um, they are also from Tablecloths Factory. And again, I'll link everything down below. And then I decided to go with these navy blue square napkins. Um, I had ordered a few samples of different colors um, and kind of played with it to see which color I wanted for what. And I think I made a video on that, so I'll link that somewhere too if I did. And now I am just arranging the napkin and I am experimenting on what way I want to actually fold the napkin for the wedding. So I tried three different ways. I did one kind of just like, um, like it folded over into a rectangle, folded up a few times kind of like rolled up into a little hot pocket kind of looking thing and put that on top of the plate. And then next I experimented with folding it into a long thick rectangle and draping it under the plate and over the tablecloth so it just kind of hangs down. And this method ended up being my favorite. It was already my favorite looking at inspiration photos so I was pretty sure I was going to go with it but um, I still just tried the other methods just in case because you never know what you actually like once you get your own decor. So that went really nicely um, as well. And then the last style that I ended up trying is a triangle fold. So. Yeah, basically just folded it a few times and made it into a nice triangle, which I placed on top of the plate 
This ended up being my least favorite once I saw all of them folded like that. Uh, it just wasn't quite the look that I was going for. Um, especially later on once I put the stationery on top of the plates as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think is your favorite um, napkin fold and which one of these you liked best. Okay, and now I'm just setting the table with some other objects. So I put on some like goblets and some forks and knives and also the vase that will be used for the centerpiece and this is what it looks like so far but that is not all I also have these table runners so right here is a burlap and lace table runner that again I got from tablecloth factory so this is really nice and I was pretty positive that I was going to use it but I just wanted to see what it looked like without it to kind of justify my getting them because I wasn't sure about buying them. And I think this is just the perfect touch. And um, now I'm just adding some candle stick holders because I will have candles set up for the day of. So this is what it's looking like so far. I think it already looks beautiful and this is basically the main stuff that will be on the table and once I got to this point I could already tell that I really liked the napkin hanging over the best but um, it was still nice to set the table up almost completely so that I could really see which napkin fold would complement my other decor best. Okay, so I'm not sure where I left off exactly showing you guys. Um, it's quite a bit later, but uh, I've been marathoning Game of Thrones and kind of working on this as it goes. But um, I want to show you guys kind of like the finished prod product of what I've decided to go with. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to go with. Um, obviously, it's not exactly exactly what it's going to look like on our wedding day because... You know, it doesn't actually have a centerpiece there and there will be like more like small candles and like rose petals on the table. But for the most part, this will be the like table setup. So here it is. So we've got like the white tablecloth with the burlap and lace table runner. We have the pink charger plates and then I have the navy blue napkin hanging under or hanging over the table and the tablecloth and then I've got my thank you card and the name card on top of it and then with the silverware arranged around it and then I'll have like my centerpiece in the middle candles on the side there will be like more candles in between um, and then maybe even because the tables will actually be double. So our venue, they make the table seat 12 per table, um, which is really big and it's a lot, but I only have five of these big vases. Um, who knows, maybe I will magically find some more at Goodwill or something before the wedding. Um, but if not... I'll have to decide I'm kind of debating if I'll just have one of these and then just try to spread out candles throughout the rest of the table but I am afraid it will look barren so what I might do is take some small vases which I have quite a few small vases and put them like on each side so there would be one big one in the middle and then two small ones on the side so I'm not sure I'll figure that out pretty soon but yeah this is Kind of what, what we're going with. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to go ahead and just try out different table settings. Mess around. See what you like. You know, try putting a napkin one way. Try putting the table um, menu card. If you're doing menu cards or thank you cards or your your place cards, your silverware, just try 
rearranging them and seeing what you like so that if you do need to make any adjustments or if you set this all up and you're like, actually, this looks too barren, I need to get more stuff, or this is way too full, I need to take something away, it's too much, that way, like, you'll know, and you can adjust before your wedding day. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more wedding and DIY content. And if you would like to receive a notification for whenever I post a video, do not forget to hit that bell icon.